Do you struggle with ED? You are not alone. If you do, go to getroman.com slash holly and meet with a U.S. certified physician and also get 15% off your first order plus free two-day shipping. That's getroman.com slash holly for 15% off your first order plus free shipping. I also want to ask you about everybody's favorite topic, uh, Mm -hmm. anal sex. Because I know that you mentioned that as a sex educator, one of the questions you get asked a lot is about anal sex. It's Mm -hmm. something a lot of people are curious about, but are nervous to engage in. And you actually outlined three steps to anal sex. So can you tell us about that? Yes. So everybody thinks when people come in to buy stuff, it's either they're looking for some, sometimes people are looking for a toy because they realize that maybe a dick isn't the first thing you should put in your ass. Um, so this is when you're working at a sex shop, sex right? Shop, right. Um, or they're looking for something to numb it or they don't want to feel it at all. And then that's a whole other conversation about like why you need to feel it. And this could hurt you in many ways. You're not feeling what's going on. Um, but I always tell people there's three steps. Step one is have you put fingers in your butt before? And if the answer is no, I go get them a pack of gloves and, and some lube. And I'm like, this is where you start. Don't even buy a toy yet. You don't even know if you'd like to have something in your butt and you're about to buy something that costs $85 um, that you're going to try to put in your butt and then you're going to hate it because you've never put anything in your butt before. And you're going to be mad at me for the rest of your life for selling you this $85 toy. So I always, step one is experiment with your fingers. Gloves are great, not just because of mess. Like, yes, that's part of it if people are scared of poop and things like that. But it's like why scuba divers go in the water wearing scuba suits. It's to make your body more slick as you slide through the water. Same thing with your hands. Like, even if your nails are well manicured, like if you have a hangnail, if your cuticles are rough, you feel all of that. Nobody wants to feel rough cuticles in their booty hole. Like, that's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants that. But if you have gloves on, everything feels really slick and nice and it'll make the experience a little bit better. And then if somebody's like, you know what? I hate this. I just don't really like it at all. I'm not finding anything about this I like. You can stop. You haven't spent $85 on a toy. You don't have to feel guilty that you spent this much money and that you don't like it. And you just like, this is it. But if you love it, come back and buy like a small toy, not the biggest toy, Cause you don't buy where you want to be. You buy, you know, you have to start where you are. Butts are greedy. People are always like, I want to buy this. Give me this toy. And it's like, no, you need it's all to- about, it's all about the journey people. Yeah. Well, they, and it's cause you're, it's a muscle, right? So when we're doing yeah. yoga, you don't start out doing the most twistiest yoga pose ever. You have to work up to it. So you have to practice and stretch and get your body limber. And over time, you can do a headstand or you can do whatever kind of, I don't know, yoga poses, but you can do those things. Same thing with your butthole. Your butt has to get used. Your muscles have to get stretched and used and like they will get used to things and you can graduate to larger and larger toys as you go if that's a goal for you. Or you can graduate to a penis because penises are step three. Like the dick is the last thing that you should be trying to put in your butt after you've already done fingers, after you've already had at least some time with the toy, like then you can move on to a dick. And even then it depends on the size of the dick because I've had conversations with people whose partners apparently have huge dicks and they're trying to go like right from fingers to dick with no toys in between no stretching. And I'm like, you need to do anal training. You need to get like a graduated set. You need to work your way up to something almost as big as your dick for your dick to feel anywhere near comfortable to them. And people aren't patient. And so patience is like the overarching thing with anal sex is you have to be patient if you're really interested in it for pleasure and not because it's a notch on your belt or a bucket list item. Like, And you don't want to hurt your partner because once you hurt your partner, you're never getting in their ass again. That is like the thing. Every person I've ever spoken to who said they accidentally went in and they're like, yep. And it's never happening again because it's been, it was too painful. Right. It's there. Nobody wants to do that. So if you want, if this is a thing you'd like to try, go the route of like, let me help you get into this pleasurable space. But also it could be fun getting there. Like, Imagine giving your partner a plug and saying, I'd like you to wear this like 
at work or while you wash laundry and think about me and like getting them ready for training and then you like maybe set a date of when you might try like finally putting a dick in and that's hot maybe that's just me but I love that I actually I bought a anal training kit for myself but I told my my person I was like I need you to tell me to use it though because I won't (laughs) use it um it'll sit in the drawer but I'm like but if you make me use it I'll use it yeah yeah, and, and by the way, people like adult performers, you know, when porn stars are doing anal scenes, they do that too. They come to set with various size butt plugs and they generally like work their way up to the larger size to prepare for an anal scene. So that's even people who are very experienced in anal will also like do some training as well before yeah. the scene. So um, all of that totally makes so much sense. Your muscles go back. Like the moment you stop, like with anything, if you stop running or you stop doing yoga, your body goes back to its state where it was at and you have to start over. So yeah, it totally makes sense that like even porn performers have to kind of like stay up on it in order to keep it, yeah. keep it limber. I don't like saying loose, yeah. Not yeah. loose, but it keeps it limber. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to, and you're, you're right when you talked about like enjoying it, you know, because it is a muscle and if you're nervous and if you're afraid um, you will clench up, which will make it painful. So you have to be able to like relax, which so, uh, so much of it is mental, Mm -hmm. you know, but also people need part of the relaxing is orgasms. And I think folks forget that, that it's not just moving right swiftly into anal sex. One of the things I tell people all the time is make sure you have an orgasm before you even start butt play. Cause if you start in that really light, airy stage where you're just like oh this is good okay then somebody's trying to like go into your butt when you're maybe usually a little apprehensive and uncomfortable it's gonna work out so much better right yeah and same thing like a lot of performers bring toys to set and they use vibrators and they use a hitachi to give themselves orgasms to warm themselves up to open themselves up so they can better you know take that enormous penis in their butthole. So there's like a whole, there's a whole system to it. And uh, people at home can uh, also use that system as well to engage in fun anal sex. It's like you said, background stuff that people don't even know is happening. (laughs) happening. Are you struggling with erectile dysfunction? Guys, you are absolutely not alone. This is super common these days, but you can do something about it. Go to getroman.com slash holly, and if approved, a U.S. physician will prescribe you the medication, which will get to you in two days with free shipping. That's getroman.com slash holly for 15% off your first order plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.